Miss Alessandra here from the Weston Public Library bringing you another Maker Monday recyclable project. Um, today we're going to be doing a couple different things, uh, all using some recyclable things that you probably have at home, um, plus some craft supplies that you might have. So we're going to do a Maker project called a uh, recyclable can or carton bird feeder. And I am going to let you know what you need for this. The only thing that um, you would have to go out and buy, obviously, would be um, the bird seed. So if you have bird seed at home, you can put that in here. If you don't, um, you may have to wait until you can go out and buy some bird seed uh, so that you can feed the birds with these. So stay tuned to see the supply list of what you'll need for either of the projects. So I'm going to let you know what you are going to need for your supplies for our um, can bird feeder. I'm going to actually give you a couple of options to do this um, with things that are uh, recyclables that you might have at your house. So you either need a can, um, bread crumb can, or a coffee can, or um, even you know, a, a vegetable or fruit can. Um, you need something that's gonna have a plastic top like so, um, and a bottom um, that is thin enough that you'll be able to cut out, or you can use a milk carton. So I'm gonna be using both of these, um, and the milk carton we're going to uh, cut as well. The other things that you could use are paint and a paintbrush. So I have a supply of different paints and a paintbrush. You can use that or you can use colored construction paper and tape or you can use different color duct tape. And then the only other things that you'll need, regardless of if you've chosen the can or the milk carton, or if you've chosen the paper, the paint, or the duct tape, is some string, a pair of scissors, and if you're using paint, I would suggest to put something down, a piece of old cardboard, and you will need your parents' help with cutting out the bottom of the can or the center of the milk carton. So you will need their assistance for one piece of this um, project. And that is how we're going to make our bird feeder. So if you'd like to make a bird feeder with me, continue watching and we'll go through both the can bird feeder and the milk carton bird feeder so that um, whatever you have at home, you'll be able to do. All right, so we are going to start by prepping our bird feeder house. So this is either going to be the can, again, I'm using a breadcrumb can, or you can use a, a milk carton. And um, we're gonna prep those to start. So the first thing is, if you're using a can, the outside of the can may have paper on it. So you're going to peel that paper off. You certainly could, if you're painting, just paint over this paper, um, but I feel it's better if you pull the paper off so you know what you're working with. Some cans are going to be cardboard and some cans will be metal, and that will help you decide exactly what type of covering you wanna put on your bird feeder house. So if it's metal, um, you're gonna want to probably either use um, paint or you could use the duct tape. I wouldn't suggest using the construction paper if your can is metal, um, just because you'd have to use a lot of tape and um, you know it might get a little messy for um, the birds you don't want want that to happen. So I took off the uh, paper on here, my tube, my can, um, though it has metal on the bottom and plastic on the top, it is paper. So I'm actually going to end up using duct tape on this. And um, again, I could use paint, it would be a little messy, 
Um, duct tape is going to be a little quicker for me to show you, but you could certainly use uh, paint or your construction paper on this. And um, so the next part is when you're prepping your can, you're going to need your parents to take some type of X-Acto knife and cut a circle from the bottom. Okay, so you can do the whole circle or they could cut through the center and above. That's gonna leave a little bit of a sharp edge, so I would suggest cutting the whole thing if they can. All right, and then the other part that you're going to do is the plastic. You're going to cut it in half, so only half of this is going to have, um, is going to be closed. Okay, so that's how you're gonna prep the can. If you're using a milk carton, like so, um, you might have stickers on your milk carton. Mine is just a, a paper milk carton. I'm probably going to uh, either paint this or use construction paper, I think, for, for time-wise, because I don't wanna have to wait for it to dry. I'm gonna use construction paper, but you could certainly paint this because it is uh, paper, it's cardboard. So uh, to prep this, I'm actually just gonna get a pen out to show you. You're going to cut a little doorway. So kind of make a door shape. Okay. So it's circular at the top. The bottom's gonna be a straight line and you're gonna leave the sides open. Um, I would cut about from, from the bottom up it's gonna be about two inches. You want that so that there will be a place for you to put the bird food. Okay, so that's going to be what I cut out. Again, you're going to need your parents' help for this. They'll have to use some type of X-Acto knife or scissors to cut this piece out. Do not try to do it yourself. All right, so that's how to prep these. So I'm gonna cut these pieces and then I'll be back to show you what they look like. At this point, I have prepped my containers, both the can and the milk carton. I'm gonna show you what that looks like. So for the can, I took the plastic lid, I cut it in half, and um, I'm only gonna keep half of this. It's going to end up getting um, taped on. You could also use glue if you need to, but it's gonna get taped on, because otherwise it will just fall off. But we do want it there so that um, you can control where the bird food goes to and you don't want it to fall out on one end, okay? And then the other side, I took off the entire piece of metal. Um, I, I just used a knife to cut this off and then the edges came off as well. So that is the can. The milk carton, I made a little doorway. Again, I used a knife. You, you need to make sure that your parents do this part. And um, now these guys are prepped for me. So right now, what I'm gonna do, before I do anything else, is I'm just gonna tape down that lid on my can. So I'm just gonna use three pieces of tape. Let's see if three pieces is enough. And I'm taping directly onto the can itself. So that's pretty sturdy. Um, when we put the bird food in, you're gonna put it in through this side. It won't fall out of this end. Um, and this allows us to run the string through as well, okay? So that's that part. The other part that I forgot to tell you about the milk carton is when you prep it, I am gonna have to go back and do this. You're going to want to um, make a hole on the opposite side of where the opening is. So here's an opening. So I'm gonna stick my finger through and I'm gonna make a hole over here. And that's how we're gonna string this to tie on a tree. So I'll do that a little bit later, but that's um, something you also wanna do to prep the milk cart. So now that they are prepped, I'm gonna start with my can. And I've decided that I'm going to use duct tape for this one. 
And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make a pattern. So I have two different colored duct tapes here. So I'm going to make a pattern of red and then the camouflage and then red and then the camouflage until um, it's completely covered. All right, so we're going to start. Got to find the end here. There it is. And again, you can paint this, you can use the construction paper, I'm going to use the construction paper on the milk carton so you can see how to do that. But if you were to paint this, you would just find your favorite color paint and a paintbrush and you would paint this um, however you like and wait for it to completely dry before moving on to the next step. Okay. So I'm going to start here and hope I can get around pretty easily. Okay. And this is where your scissors come in. So once you get around, you can cut it, seal it, and that's going to be the first part. Now I'm going to try the next set with the camouflage. So let's see if I can find the end of the camouflage. I'm going to do the same thing and wrap around the next part of the paper of the can. All right, so this one's a little bit harder. I'm going to pull enough that I think will get us around and then tape. Okay. And I'm just going to pull it around. If it overlaps a little bit, that's okay. I can overlap the next red as well. best I can to be even. Push it down. Okay, so that's the next row. I'm going to move back to the red. This tape comes off super easy, this one. And again, I'm just doing a, a pattern of, you know, one color and then another color. If you have other duct tape at home, you can do a different pattern. And just know that when using duct tape, because we are going to be putting this in the nature, um, make sure none of the tape is sticking out. You don't want the animals to get stuck to this at all, whether it be an insect or part of the, the bird's feathers. Um, so just make sure that the tape part, the sticky part, is actually um, down on the tube. All right. I'm going back to the camouflage. So that's number four. I'm going to do one more red wrap around and that should be enough to design my outside. Again, you can use paint. You can use the construction paper. I'm going to show you how to use the construction paper using the milk carton in just a second. off. 
again, make sure none of the stickiness is out. And that is the bird feeder house. So I'm gonna put this down. We're not quite finished with it, but I'm gonna move on to our milk carton. And I have some paper here. So here you could, again, um, you could paint this. That would be certainly fine. Just make sure if you're painting that you don't move on to the next step until it's dry. So here, the bird food is gonna go in the bottom. That's why we have this little lip here. So that's gonna hold the bird food. The bird can you know, perch on it and stick their head in. Um, and we're going to cover the outside with some strips of our paper. So the easiest is to wrap it around the three sides that are open and then go back and cover. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mark where the side ends, because obviously the top is a different shape, where the side ends of the straight part. So I'm gonna use my scissor to just cut that piece off. You can do this however you want. If you want to do various colors, um, a different pattern, that's fine. This is just the easiest. So I have one strip that would cover the outside. So I'm just gonna go back and see how it's a little rigid. I'm gonna just cut that as straight as possible. Okay. All right. And that will go on the outside. So I'm gonna start by taping this to the bottom. Okay, so tape it to the bottom. It's gonna overlap just a little bit when you push that tape down under. And again, you could glue this if you want, just make sure that it's fully glued before moving on to the next part. Next, I'm gonna tape the side. So where that little lip is, that's where I put a piece of tape and I'm gonna put a piece of tape up here where we have um, a nice piece of the solid cardboard. And I'll put a little bit over the center. So see how it's sticking up? I'm gonna just fold that over onto the paper. Okay, so see how that is just taped that way? Okay, I'm gonna put one piece of tape in the center on the top, just like we did the side, fold it down like that. Okay, now I'm gonna wrap around the back. I'm gonna do the same on the bottom. I'm gonna put a couple pieces of tape down here and then one piece on the top. straight across, bend it, okay? And then the bottom, probably two pieces of tape or so. So in the corners, I'm just doing some tape in the corners here. So obviously if you're using um, paper, if it rains, it is gonna get wet. If you're using paint, you wanna use a paint that um, is not um, a watercolor paint. That would be like a permanent paint so that it, if it does rain, it doesn't come off. Or you're gonna have to check when it's raining and bring it back and forth from, from inside, okay? So I've done the back. Now I'm just putting it over the third side. Again, one piece of tape across the top and fold down and a couple of pieces on the bottom in the corners corner and corner. So this is a little bit longer. I actually will be able to cover the side. So I'm gonna do that by putting a piece of tape on the bottom. Put a piece of tape there. I'm gonna put a piece of tape in the middle and fold inside. 
So I fold it inside, and then I'm going to put a piece of tape on the top. Top goes across. Okay. Lift it a little bit. And just fold that in. Okay, so that's the easiest part of this to use one color. Now you can go back and you can use the strips that you cut off to fill in those sides. I was able to use um, part of the large strip to go on one side of the doorway. I'm gonna cut this strip to go on the other side of the doorway. So what I'm talking about is I was able to use this on this side of the door, and now I'm gonna put a piece here. And I'm gonna tape that down as well. Again, each thing that's sticky that I'm using, I'm making sure it is not able to stick onto any animal that approaches our bird feeder. Okay, so just taping across here. And again, taping a little on the inside and folding in. Okay, so you see I have this piece that's sticking out. I'm going to just cut that. And now I have to cover the bottom, the top, and obviously around um, that top piece that is more triangular. So I have another color here that I'm going to use. I'm just gonna measure out the pieces that I still need to cut. Here, I'm gonna try and cut it that the same um, size as the piece without the hole, and then I'm gonna cut the hole around it, okay? So, just measuring <clears throat> here, so I can say that's about that piece. And you can measure with your pencil if you need to. Um, I just find it easier to cut as I measure so that I know it's the size that it needs to be. Okay, so that would be my size here and I just fold it down. So I'm gonna cut two of these out for both sides. My paper got a little wet because my uh, milk carton I had just washed it, so it was still a little wet. Okay, so I have two pieces that size. So I'm gonna tape those on. Um, the side that doesn't have the hole yet, remember we're gonna go and poke a hole. Um, I'm gonna just tape that down inside. So by inside, I mean I'm going into this crevice here to tape it. And I'm gonna do that on both sides. Like so. And then tape the edges. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this where it would go. I'm going to use my pen to figure out where that circle is. So my circle is here. Okay, you made a circle. I find the easiest way is to fold it and then cut around the marking you just made to make a circle and it just pops right over it and i'm going to glue that down i mean tape that down same way i did before inside and inside 
and then on the bottom here. There and there. All right, so now there's just two pieces I still need to cover here and here. Again, um, I would just go to measure uh, where that piece is. They're about the same size. So again, I'm gonna cut two of these pieces and it's about two inches, um, maybe an inch and a half. I'm not using a ruler, I'm kind of eyeballing this. Um, so it would be there and And I'm going to cut two pieces out here. Straight across. And cut another piece. Here. Okay, and I'm just going to tape those on. To the bottom. Again, I always try and go underneath so not so much of the tape is showing where the animals will be. And I'm going to tape onto each side. Pieces of tape came off here, so I'm just going to retape. And then I'm going to tape this one onto the top here. it all covered. I could go in now. I could make some drawings or write bird feeder, um, whatever you would want to do to design this. This is your design for the birds. And the only thing left here I have to do is I have to make the hole for the string. So I'm going to just pop over and make the hole. Remember what I said, I'm going to take this um, top off and I'm going to make a hole across here. So I can feel where my finger is. Again, you're gonna need your parents' help for this. And then when we come back, we're gonna string them. And um, once they're strung, you can put some uh, bird seed in and hang them on a tree. Our final part of this project is stringing our bird feeders so that we can put some bird seed inside and hang them outside. Um, so I have my two here. Again, this one's gonna be strung through this hole. I've made a hole on the opposite side. Here it is. And our can is going to be strung this way and come out here. The bird food is actually going to go on the opening side and you don't want to fill it past the line of this top. Remember how we cut the top in half? Don't fill the bird food past that line, okay? So we're going to cut out some string to hang this. You want to know where you're going to hang it. And I would say do about two feet of string, okay? So there's about a two foot string, okay? And I'm going to go into the milk carton, one hole, and out the other hole, okay? And then I'm gonna just tie a knot So that that can hang on a tree. So it would just hang um, outside on a tree branch. I'd put the bird seed inside, again not past this little lip here, and that is how you would do a milk carton one if you're using construction paper or paint it. Just remember if you're using construction paper it will get wet. You want to make sure that you bring it in when it's raining um, or replace it, okay? And for the can, we're going to string through the middle. So again, about two feet should be good. That's a little more than two feet, but. Okay. And 
going to string through here where you have the plastic top of the container and through the opened side and tie. Again, this is how it will sit on a branch. You're going to put the bird seed on this side so that it doesn't fall out the other side. That's why we have half a container here. Okay. Now the birds would be able to perch over here and get some bird seed as well, or they could perch on this side to get the bird seed. And those are our two recycled can or carton bird feeders for Maker Monday. Let me know if you make a bird feeder and hang it outside. I'd love to see a picture of it. You can email it to me. Um, and I'd love to see the birds that go in and eat from it. So um, you can email it to me at a-p-e-t-r-i-n-o at westonct.gov. And as always, I hope you enjoyed this one. We do not have a Maker Monday next week because it is Memorial Day, but I will see you guys again soon. Thanks for watching.